hello welcome back on a part two so now it's time to make the decoration um, of our box so we're going to have the layer the insert and the DSP so for the exterior uh, I already uh, glued, glued it because I don't know what happened with my YouTube this week but sometimes uh, I can see it recorded and nothing is there so sorry about that but i already glued that for you but you get it it's really easy you use your tumble no worries for the dimension it's all going to be on my description so for the inside um i keep the white on white it's it's up to you what you want to do and after that you got your insert to uh to put some color in your star so and uh, we are going to punch that little part together so what i want to do i'm going to use my little ruler i want it at three quarter deep my circle punch so i'm going to make a mark and uh, you want to be center this is four inches so i'm going to just be sure that i'm at two inches I, I have a good eye, but maybe not that good. So you have enough space in here if you take off your insert to insert your punch. So you can have something smaller. It's a one and a half, so you can totally have something smaller, even bigger. So this is going to be your punch and you punch in punch it once your dsp or layer is already glue it's way easier to do it this way and we're just going to do same thing here we are going to find the three quarter kind of in the center and no worries about that it's just going to erase that at the end if you still have your mark in there Oops. Take off your insert. Find your center. So you can do maybe a mark in your punch if you if you are not really good with eyeballs. And here I'm going to add a little piece of DSP because it's kind of blind. So we're going to just it's a such a circle that I cut with uh, with a die that you can find on the annual catalog. Again, the link is going to be on my description. This is going to be a really long description. And I'm just going to find a center like that. Hold it with my finger and glue that down. We just had a little pop-up color and it's really up to you if you want to do it or not. And I, this is a regular piece of cardstock, but it's white thick cardstock. And I just round the corner. It's easy to get, get in and get out for my little pocket. So voila. So this is your little uh, piece for the small one. And for the um, decoration of the exterior, what I use, I'm going to show you from the big box. In here. And I did the same for the small one. So after that, you play with it. You had this, what you want to have. Let me find my die. Sorry. So here, I use those are in the annual catalog. So those are the uh, nested label die. So I use the big one. I cut that one first. And after that, from the Snowflake Wishes bundle. I die cut this one inside a second time in the big shot and after that I had the little snowflake and um, I had my gnome so this is kind of my little uh, window for my gnome on the two sides with a different gnome and I did the same thing for the small one so let's just have some fun with that and the star 
this is from uh, the bundle I show you at, on the first part so this is what's come in your die set so you have many many of those so if you want to add more star you can totally do that so let's see if I forget anything oh I want to show you my little gnome so you need many of them so have fun with them and unfortunately we don't have any dye so <coughs> I'm sorry I fussy cut them and I use the blender pen to do that so the real red the shade of spruce for the green I do use the browns we do have black and for the end the big insert I um, I stamped this image from the Gnome for Holidays and uh, I use the um, crown cake for the tree and the smoky slate for the here and the real red again and the shade of spruce for the, the leaf and the grass. And after that I did use, can we see it? I used my ink of Stella for the little Christmas bulb like this i think i forget about it because i don't see any shine so let's add some bling bling ink of stella for all your christmas project it's kind of a, something that you need here we do have windows so it should be shiny can you see the difference hope you can see it so this is it for the decoration um, I'm going to make the video for that little one from the beginning or we can maybe start over in a couple of minutes so this is going to be a video by itself how to make that really pretty Starbucks so see you in a while <laughs> 